Hi, I'm Josh Bloom. Welcome to another video in the RSP Supply Education Series. If you find that these videos are helpful to you, it certainly helps us out if you could give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. In today's video, we are going to be talking about two commonly used pieces of hardware in industrial control. I'm talking about both PLCs and data loggers. For the purpose of this video, we want to talk about each of these devices so that we might better understand what they are used for. More importantly, we want to talk about the differences between these two devices and why you might choose to use one versus the other. We plan to discuss a few basic uh, examples of areas where you might use a PLC and areas where, you, where a data logger might be a better choice. By the end of this video, your understanding of these two devices and the differences that exist between them should be very clear. As always, the information shared in this video is intended to provide only a basic overview of this topic and should never take the place of proper electrical instruction. With that being said, let's take a closer look at both PLCs and data loggers and learn more about each of them to find out how they differ and where you might choose to use them. Let's first talk about PLCs, since we have mentioned the use of these devices many times on this channel. For those of you who have not seen some of our other videos talking about PLCs, PLC stands for Programmable Logic Controller. PLCs are industrial digital computers that have been modified and adapted to be more tolerant of rough and tough environments for the control of electrical processes. These processes include, but are not limited to, assembly lines, robotic devices, any activity that requires high reliability, ease of programming, and process fault diagnosis. PLCs are typically used to collect various types of data. This data is collected through the I.O. portion of the PLC. This I.O. or inputs or outputs are where sensors and instruments can be wired into the PLC. However, this information on its own doesn't enable the function of the PLC. The controller needs to be programmed. The programming language that is used with a PLC will depend on the type of PLC that is selected. There are many different languages that can be used. Some PLCs even allow for multiple languages, languages to be used on the same piece of hardware. With the program loaded onto the PLC, it will then have the ability to read the inputs and by using the code and logic that has been loaded onto it, can either assist in storing the data it collects, send that data to an HMI, or it can send output commands based off the input data that it receives. The output commands can control things like valve actuation, on-off commands to relays and contactors, and countless other tasks. PLCs can perform very complex tasks if the right kind of hardware is used and also paired with the right kind of programming. PLCs are used all over the world and perform very simple tasks to very difficult and critical tasks. Because of their ability to read and write via the connected I.O., they are perhaps the most commonly used industrial controller today. So now that we know what a PLC is, how do they differ from a data logger? And what is a data logger? A data logger, also sometimes, sometimes called a data recorder, is an electronic device that records data over time. This data is collected with either a built-in set of sensors or instruments, or also with external sensors that can be connected to the data logger, just like a PLC. One of the biggest differences between PLCs and data loggers is that data loggers don't typically require as much programming and are intended to be used only to collect data. One of the primary benefits of use, using data loggers is that they can automatically collect data on a 24-hour basis. Once they have been properly configured, data loggers are typically deployed and left unattended to measure and record information for however long the monitoring period might be. This allows for a comprehensive and accurate picture of the various conditions that can be monitored, such as air temperature and relative humidity as an example. Data loggers almost always have some kind of internal memory for data storage. This is different from PLCs in that they are not typically designed to store large amounts of data, but instead will send that data to something like an HMI. While there are many similarities between these two devices, they can differ greatly in the de desired function that they are intended to perform. By having a good understanding of these two different devices, it can help you in determining which one will best suit your specific application. 
For a full line of PLCs and data loggers, as well as thousands of other products, please go to our website. For more information or other educational videos, go to rspsupply.com, the Internet's top source for industrial hardware. Also, don't forget, like and subscribe.